lifting up Jesus and opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. Again, we always interpret the Old Testament in light of the New Testament revelation of Jesus. That term, when put into the Greek language, is monogenes, monogenes, and it refers to the incarnation of Jesus physically. It does not refer to his eternal pre-existence. For instance, in Micah chapter 5, verse 2, where it refers to the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem, biologically, it makes clear that he was pre-existent. Um, again, we always interpret scripture in light of other scripture. So in a case like this, what we would do is we would, first of all, go to a co-text. Where else does the scripture address this issue of begotten or of, of the birth of Jesus? And how does that relate to his eternal position as God? Micah 5.2 tells us, but as for you, Bethlehem Ephrata, too little to be among the clans of Judah. From you, one will go forth for me to be ruler in Israel. The Messiah would be born in Bethlehem, obviously. His goings forth are from long ago, from the days of eternity. A distinction has to be made with the monogenes and the preexistence. As God, he was preexistent, but at a certain point in time, in history, he became incarnated as a human being and was born of a virgin. We interpret scripture in light of scripture. It does not refer to his creation. It simply refers to his birth. The body of Jesus was created. Jesus himself was not created. There's a scripture that says, prepare thou a body for me. That is the meaning of Psalm chapter 2, verse 7. Thank you for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless.